So today we will be discussing the remote sensing home of the application case study based on the study conducted by Jenny Chu et al. And they investigate the special and temporary dynamics of PSS at Sarawak Coastal Water. So here are the background information of the study that shows the reliability of the brain ratio of the SS model, especially at Borneo Coastal Water. It serves as an effort to address and minimize water quality degradation in coastal area. Some of the objectives involve investigating special and temporary variability of TSS, identifying hotspot of TSS, and also um, studying the monsoonal and river discharge pattern in relation to TSS. So, these are the area of study which covers the southwestern coast of Sarawak. So, let's take a look closer at the area of study which involves several river basins such as Matan, Sevriyao, Lupa and Majang and also has sub-river basins such as Ikan, Masa and Palo. So they develop their own TSS model based on the spectrum spectral data and also calibrate the model into this aqua environment. They also retrieve Earth observation satellites from uh, open data cube and also retrieve precipitation data and river discharge value from global precipitation measurement. So, so these are the component of result and discussion. For the first part, the average of the SS value is between 15 to 20 milligram and falls under class 1 of measuring quality water quality standards. So, Lupa and Raja Basin is still within class 1 despite of its gradual increase. And also, the finding shows that large portion of the SS settled on river instead of coastal areas. So, some of the other hotspots is Samosa Sumatan area which has coefficient of elevation of more than 90% despite being sheltered areas and thus the use to recover major activities. There are also other studies revealed that there are deforestation at Lundu nearby Sumatan that can promote sediment in the river. Moving on to the temporal variation of the SS, the SS release can be seen to extend further in the open ocean to remove its monsoon and it is more likely to be infected by the SS release during the first monsoon compared to the first monsoon. So, the TSS concentration shows the testing of the trend from the first monsoon to the first monsoon in Nupa during 2009 and also 2014. So, there is no distinct trend of decrease during the first monsoon in 2009 at the far river, as you can see here, there is no distinct trend. Drop in 2014 influenced the precipitation values in the part in Rajang, and no apparent decrease from the first monsoon, as you can see from both of the chart here. However, there is increase in the SS value during the first monsoon at the far in 2014 despite being in drought condition. So moving on to the hydrological factor that drives the TSS, one of the major factors is river discharge. However, in this study, it is found that river discharge is inversely related to TSS, especially in 2010 for Lupa River. Uh, it is also can be found that uh, weak correlation between these two variables. Uh, for, for example, it's been seen in 2010. Despite and the river discharge is at high point, uh, the TSS value is at very low point. So, last key point of this result and discussion is the variability of TSS across coastal water. They further study at coastal point with three sub transect point. And to measure daily changes of TSS, 
So it is found that Upa and Lhasa area was highly affected based on daily temporary solution. Sarawak Sadong area shows high TSS of over 30 mg at several periods during the period of study. The TSS concentration also recorded um, at area 3 and area 6. It is also found that TSS concentration dropped by traveling to open ocean at the rate of 50% except for area 7 which at um, Lhasa and area 8 at Igan. So to recap, these are several key points. Average of TSS value is still within class 1 at southwestern of Sawa. Monsoon shows strong influence on the TSS release. Uh, river discharge is weakly related to TSS concentration at Lupa and Rajang Basin. And TSS more likely to deposit or diluted while transported to open ocean. However, uh, the model that is being developed is still has a loophole and cannot be uh, applied to all water types and need to be optimized. I think this is all for me. Uh, thank you.